That's your NBC2 traffic alert. Jason, thank you. We're tracking two big high school soccer games today. Thanks to their double overtime win Friday night, Bishop Barrow, the defending th Class 3A state champs are in the state semifinals again. And Cape Coral is in the Class 4A state semifinals for the first time in that school's history. Those games are today at the University of Tampa Soccer Stadium. Bishop Barrow plays first. They're going to take on Highland prep at 1245 and then later in the day Cape Coral will play celebration. Good luck to those guys. Mm -hmm. 525 right now. One retiring volunteer gets a surprise she never thought. Pass. I'm Lauren Pastrana with Wing Traffic Now. Robin Lindsay, back to you. 636 and they're going to pull out all the stops for a championship team today in Cape Coral. Cape Coral High School is celebrating a first and our Kyle Jordan joins us live from the school to tell us what it is. Good morning Kyle. Hey, good morning. Uh, out here on uh, what I called the football field yesterday, and I was informed very quickly by head soccer coach Aldo Nardiello, this is the soccer field once football season is over. Aldo joining us this morning, I'm going to pass it over to him. And uh, first things first, congratulations to you and the team. And I know this has got to be an exciting moment, not only for uh, the boys that are going to be involved, but for the school as well. Uh, absolutely. The entire school is elated and uh, behind us. Uh, all kinds of support from every um, member of the Cape community, so we're, we're absolutely thrilled and, and honored to be at this point. I get this, the team is 23-1-3, one, and three. one loss, and it actually came on this field, and I know you probably don't like to hear that, but that was in the district finals, and as a coach, you've been riding this winning streak. If there was a time to lose a game, that was the only one you could lose before you were eliminated. Absolutely. It gave us an opportunity to still move on and learn from that lesson and uh, a lesson that has uh, you know, helped us along the way in all these tight, pressure-filled games. You're going to put these uh, teenage boys on a bus today and uh, drive up to Tampa. Uh, this, you said this is going to be the longest road trip. I guess you're probably going to be glad they're not playing in Tallahassee or Pensacola. Uh, yes, we are. <laughs> and after all, this is a charter bus, so it's a little bit more comfortable. So uh, we're, uh, we're excited, we're thrilled, and um, we're ready to go. Tell us about the, uh, about the team, the, the makeup. I, I know you've got a, probably a wide group of personalities and things like that. What are the, what, what's this team like? Uh, well, it's uh, multi-ethnic, multi-racial, multi-religious. Uh, we are uh, really a, a, an ethnic fruit salad of players. And, uh, but we all come together. We're united by the soccer ball and uh, united by our passion for this, for this sport. And uh, when it comes to playing on the field, you know, we, we play in harmony. We play as one. So it's a great life lesson. Going for the first state championship uh, in school history, team sport anyway, and uh, the first time that a team from Cape Coral High School has made it this far. Uh, do these guys, are they carrying any extra pressure or have they just forgotten about all of that? Uh, no, we, we try to look at it as uh, one game at a time. You know, we, we make note of it and then we move on uh, because, uh, you know, there's a task at hand, there's a goal at hand, and uh, so uh, we take it one game at a time. All right, Naldo Ardinello, and I want to show you one real quick thing here. This is a ball coming up in our next half hour. We're going to tell you about uh, what makes this 22-year-old ball so special to the Cape Coral High School team and why it's so special to the coach as well. We'll have some of the players out here as well. 5-15 today up at uh, University of Tampa's Pepin Stadium. That's when they will be playing in the state semifinal game. If they win that, they move on to the state championship, which is Saturday. For now, we're live in Cape Coral. Kyle Jordan, Wink News, now this morning. Kyle, thank you. We are kicking it with Kyle across Southwest Florida. Not soccer balls, so to speak, but we want to feature your sheriff's office on the scene. Not reporting any roadblock associated with that. Down into Collier County right now, we are checking in accident-free, just the usual congestion starting to build up along US-41. I'm Lauren Pastrana with Wing Traffic Now. Robin Lindsay, back to you. We have two hours of news still ahead for you. So here's what's coming up when we make the switch to 6TV at 7. Good morning, I'm Kyle Jordan, live out at the soccer stadium here now at Cape Coral High School, where the guys of the uh, boys' high school soccer team getting geared up to make the trip up to Tampa today for the state semifinals. As you can see behind me, uh, nerves probably getting the best of them. Just kidding. They are excited about this trip. We're going to hear from some of the guys. And also, as I uh, told you a little bit earlier, they've got a, a special ball that is 22 years old. They all make sure that they touch it before they play. I'll explain why they have that tradition coming up at 7 o'clock. And I'm Jennifer Stacy. Coming up at 8 o'clock when we make the switch to 6, we're going to take and might face even more charges. It's now 7.07, and it's a big day today for the Cape Coral High School soccer team as they prepare to head to the state championships. The team is expected to be honored with a parade a little later this morning. And right now, several of them are up and early talking with Kyle Jordan, so he's over at the high school with that. Good morning, Kyle. Hey, good morning. Uh, you say several. Uh, do we have the whole team out here, basically? Yes, we do. Except for maybe somebody that slept in. There were a couple of late stragglers. We won't call anybody out, but the guys are all here getting ready to head up to Tampa today. We've got them uh, joining us out here on the field today where... 
actually the last time they played on this field unfortunately was their only loss of the season since then they've been on the road they're going to be on the road again today and it's got to be an exciting time we were talking with uh, paulo acosta one of the senior captains and paulo what's the trip going to be like for you guys today uh the trip is going to be a lot of fun a lot of excitement you know i get to just hang with my boys uh you know we're just looking forward to the game and uh just be together and get focused so we're just excited a lot's been made about a uh, history-making opportunity for you guys. Cape Coral High School never won a state championship in any team sport, and this is as close as the school's ever been. Yeah, yeah, that's you know very special for us. You know, it's uh, it's an honor for us to be representing Cape Coral High School at this level. So hopefully we can uh, you know take it to the next step and go to the championship game after the semifinals and uh, bring home the big the big one. That's what we're looking for. All right, Andrew Gonzalez, another one of the captains, and uh, he's trying to keep his white shoes clean. He didn't want to kick the ball today, but obviously right. tonight is going to be all about uh, the business of getting getting dirty and doing whatever it takes to leave it all out there on the field. Exactly. Um, we've come a long way, and it hasn't been easy, and we know that uh, there's definitely a lot to go, and we know the teams are going to be great up there. Celebration's definitely a uh, team to be reckoned with, and you know, we're going to have to come together as a team and really uh, – stay focused and determined on the field. As a senior, how exciting for, for you yeah. is this? It's great. Uh, two years ago, you know, I was part of a, we went to the regional finals, but this is just, you know, everything we could have asked for. But um, it's taken a lot of hard work, and we, uh, we know it's not over yet. All right. Well, congratulations. Good luck to you. And we're going to bring the coach back in. I told you about this uh, special ball, which now is uh, quite dirty. And you may be able to read it. Tell, this, you said this is 22 years old. 22-year-old special ball in 1989. It brought us uh, at the University of Albany in a, in a different time and place. <laughs> it brought us uh, an ECAC championship. We're 18-2. and two. So uh, it was good luck for me uh, years ago. And it has become uh, a symbol of our, of our good fortunes this year. So before every game, every player on the team touches, hugs, caresses, kisses, and makes contact with this special ball. It's got good karma. There you go. And that ball will be making its way up uh, to Tampa's Pepin Stadium today, University of Tampa at 515. Uh, they'll be taking on celebration. I also want to give a shout out to Bishop Barrow High School. They're playing at 1245 today, also in the same stadium, going uh, for a shot at the state championship as well. So two teams from Southwest Florida playing in the state semifinals, both on the same field today. If you don't have any plans and can make the two-hour drive up there, I'm sure these guys would love your support. For now, we're live at Cape Coral High School. Kyle Jordan, Wink News, now this morning. Kyle, thanks and good luck to those guys out there. We are kicking it with Kyle across Southwest Florida. We're starting a brand new segment and we want to feature twins pitchers and catchers have their first official workout on Friday. And this is a big day for the Cape Coral High School soccer team. The boys team is into the final four state championships in Tampa. If they win tonight, the team will play for the school's first ever state championship. They're going to be honored with a parade at school today, getting started at about 9.45 this morning. Their game today in Tampa is at 5.15. The championship game is Saturday evening, if they move on to that. Speculation goes on about who may run for the Republican nomination. Well, it is a big day today for the Cape Coral High School soccer team as they prepare to head to the state championship. And the team's going to be honored with a parade a little bit later this morning. And several of the team members got up early to talk with Kyle Jordan. He's uh, in the Cape for us this morning. How are they doing, Kyle? Good morning. Uh, they're, they're letting me participate in uh, one of the drills here. I don't have very good shoes on for this. Uh, it's a wet field, and good, good for them. They practiced, had the final practice of the season last night on this field. They are heading up to Tampa today for the state semifinals. We've got uh, a few different guys that we're going to talk to here, uh, some of the guys out here uh, doing some warm-ups. So we also got the uh, keeper out here. Again, this is the, uh, the first time that the school – has had a team in the state semifinals in any team sport since 2001, and they are going uh, for the school's first state championship in school history. And in fact, uh, we want to pull over uh, Kyle Amaral. He actually scored what was the winning goal in the state semifinal game. Kyle, come over here real quick. Uh, overtime game, you guys were playing in the semifinals, knowing that it is do or die at that point. If you don't win that game, the, the season is over. What was the feeling like? I mean, I just took it to the heart, you know, I mean, I put the ball in for my teammates and, you know, we worked hard until the end against a very good team, so. How exciting is this for you guys? Uh, it's very exciting. I mean, when I scored the goal, like, I started running and everybody just jumped on top of me. <laughs> now, you were, you were born not in this country. Coach has said that you're very multi, uh, multi-racial, multinational. Where, you were born where? I was born in Brazil, Sao Paulo. In, Br in Brazil. And we've got uh, your keeper that we're going to go talk to here in a second. He was born where? Uh, Colombia. So you guys have put aside uh, international differences and put a team together here? Yes, sir, and we actually have that, you know, we um, both as a national team, like Brazil and Colombia, we have that uh, rivalry, you know, so 
And that's pretty funny because we always talk about soccer. Well, there you go. Well, well, let me run over here. Sante uh, Villamil, who is uh, the goalkeeper practicing uh, back back this way. We want to run around here and catch him. And uh, he's been working out here. Uh, Sante, real quickly, uh, the pressure of, again, as I said, an overtime game and all of that coming down to uh, one moment, and you've got to make sure that they don't score. If they do, they win. Any added pressure now at this point? Uh, just we play hard all the way, you know. Just give it all we got in overtime. We try to get some combinations and, you know, always play to our targets and we try to do our best always and I try to keep my goal untouched by anybody and you know doing good. How exciting is this for this group? I mean the, you got your, your brothers out here on the team and getting ready to hop on a bus and head north. Oh they're all excited they they've been waiting for the couple of days you know they they can't wait there's just no words to describe it you know they're they're excited. Well, we'll let you jump in with them. They're going to be heading out of here at 9.45 this morning. Uh, they're expecting to have uh, the student body come out and send them off. 5.15 today, they play celebration in the state semifinals. I uh, also want to mention Bishop Verreau playing in the state semifinals as well. They're on the same field at 12.45 today. Two Southwest Florida teams playing for the right to go for a state championship in boys soccer, and I'm sure they are uh, looking forward to it and, uh, of course, looking forward to any support here from the folks in our area. For now, we're live out at Cape Coral High School. Kyle Jordan, Wink News, now this morning. All right, Kyle, thanks. A couple more uh, sports news stories. If you're a baseball fan, the Rays pitchers and catchers report to camp today, too. And this is a big day for the Cape Coral High School soccer team. The boys are into the Final Four up in Tampa. They win tonight, and the team plays for the school's first ever state championship. So they're honored with a parade a little bit later this morning at school. Coming up on 6TV, not every word you hear out on the news sounds crystal clear, right? Some newscast mistakes are ahead. SEC Basketball on 6TV at 1. I'm Lauren Pastrana with Wing Traffic Now. Robin Lindsay, back to you. Lauren, thank you. Now to some of today's top stories. And this is a big day for the Cape Coral High School soccer team. The boys made it into the Final Four at the state championships in Tampa. If they win tonight, the team plays for the school's first ever state championship. In just 45 minutes, the soccer team's honored with a parade at school. And the boys team at Bishop Baroa High School also headed to the Final Four. They play this afternoon for the chance to go on to Saturday's championship games. A new report says more people applied for unemployment benefits. Any sports complex. Thanks, Lauren. We have two Southwest Florida high school soccer teams still in the running for state titles today. This morning, we caught up with the boys from Cape Coral High. It's the first time since 2001 that any Cape High team has made the state semifinals, and they are vying for the school's first team championship in any sport. The Seahawks travel north to Tampa today to face Celebration High in the state semifinals. You know, we know that we're part of history here at Cape Coral High School, and that's really special. And, you know, we all have known each other for a long period of time, so, you know, that for us, this big group of people to be together and be at this kind of special moment. With the way our team acts, it's going to be like it's a regular game. We're just going to have fun and try our best. And joining the Cape boys up at the University of Tampa are the boys of Bishop Vero. The Vikings kick off in about an hour. They're actually shooting for a shot at a second straight title. So good luck to both of them. A Fort Myers Elementary School will Charlie Daggett of CBS News, London. It's a big day for a pair of local high school soccer teams. Coming up, we'll hear from the head coach of the Cape Coral boys team as they are chasing the school's first shot at a state title. Kira? A few clouds today along with the warm weather returning, but will it stick around just some for the first game of Grapefruit League play? That is next Sunday. This morning, we caught up with the boys from Cape Coral High. The Seahawks traveling north to Tampa today to face Celebration High in the state soccer semifinals. It's the first time since 2001 that any Cape High team has made the state semis, and they are vying for the school's first team championship in any sport. We're excited for, for the players. You know, it's, it's an experience. It's, 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 it's a memory. It's uh, you know, a moment in time that they will share forever. It will bond these boys uh, forever in, in life. So, uh, yeah, it, it really is thrilling. And the Cape Boys playing at 515. Bishop Burrow also playing, and they're playing in, in about an hour at 1245. Uh, is weather going to be at all a factor for them today? No, it'll be a little bit on the warm side, so hopefully they have the sunscreen on and they have the water bottles. Stay hydrated for sure. Yeah. Stay hydrated. The humidity really not too bad today, but we are starting to see an increase in uh, some of the moisture here across South. Burton won today's second qualifying race. I'm Clayton Ferrero, Wink Sports Now. And we have an update for you at the state soccer semifinals. Bishop Burrow lost to Lake Highland Prep 2-1, to and Cape Coral beats Celebration 4-0. The Seahawks will play for the state championship 
on Saturday. Uh, weather should be good yeah, for that. Uh, that's, that's awesome. A, that's a big score for mm -hmm. nothing in yes, soccer it is. Yeah. for them. Seven day forecast, beautiful weather all the way into the weekend. Low 80s for the next seven days. All right, thank you, Scott. Inside. We are live in Fort Myers, Katie Johnson, NBC2. Now, Cape Coral High School is celebrating its first ever state championship in a sporting event. NBC2 sports anchor Brad Shelgren is live in the studio with more on this big victory. Brad. Yeah, Lindsay, as you can imagine, the quest to win a state title is never easy. Cape Coral is living proof. Along the way, the Seahawks lost in the district title game, needed a shootout victory in the state tournament, and came back from two goals down today to pick up their first ever state title, beating Choctawachee High School out of Fort Walton Beach 3-2. to two. Highlights and reaction, of course, coming up in sports. Lindsay, back to you. Very cool. Brad, thank you. Well, they fought on the front lines for our country. Tonight, hundreds of miss hurt. All right, it's a big day for the Red Sox and their fans. First full squad workout. I think it's safe to say that the Red Sox are loaded. L a lot of people want to put them in the World Series already. Should we just put them in or should we let them play the season? We're, supposed to, we're not supposed to be biased, are we? I'm no, we're, we're not, but they, they have a good team. I'll vote to put them in. Okay. I'll say. I'll, I'll <laughs> let them play the season. Plus, we talked about this earlier. Cape Coral looking to make some history. Seahawks looking for their first state title in any sport. Could they do it? Highlights and reaction next in sports. Look at the planet got you. Oh. Plus, get Toyota care. Well, those who say patience is a virtue probably haven't had to wait 31 years to win a state title as far as Cape Coral is concerned. They waved bye-bye to patience a long time ago, and that's because Cape Coral High School has never won a state title in any sport since the school opened its doors in 1979. The Seahawks soccer team had a chance to change all that today. Let's go to Tampa for the 4A state title taken on Choctawachee out of Fort Walton's Beach. They're down two zip, not for long. Nathan Stone changes all that, finds the back of the net. It's 2-1 just like that. Then Kyle Amaral came alive in this one. We've got a loose ball in the box. Kyle takes his time, then sends it home, and we are tied at two. But wait, the Seahawks are not done. Amaral making it happen once again. That would be your game winner. Seahawks get the win, 3-2, to two, as we say, the school's first title ever. And afterwards, you can imagine the celebration. That's a memory forever, you know. I mean, as, a, as our coach always taught us, uh, that will be memory for 20 years to go. And when we come back with our sons and, you know, with our daughters, we'll be able to say, oh, I was in this game. I helped the team win. You know? I looked at the fans and saw everybody just cheering, and it just pushed us to hold it and to make sure to get these beautiful gold medals. <laughs> When the Red Sox equipment truck arrived in southwest Florida last week, it carried the shutting down a major interstate. Champions at last. For the first time ever, Cape Coral High School is welcoming home state champs. The News at 11 starts right now. Live, the news you count on. NBC2, News at 11. Another edition of the Festival of, of the Edison Festival of Light Grand Parade is in the books two hot at 11 a.m. I love this story. That's a hot ticket. I know. <laughs> it's a hot ticket. Hey, good stuff for big stuff for Cape Coral High School. Yeah, you it were is. There. It is a first. Yes, I was there. First state championship. That's got to be cool. In any sport. It was really cool. They had a great time and they are still enjoying that one. And it was a great game, too. We'll have the highlights right. coming up and you get to hear from them. And could this be the beginning of a World Series run for the Red Sox? Exactly, yeah. Go out there and uh, be aggressive and make birdies. Got a great shot at it. Well, you want a celebration? Here's a celebration. This was the Cape Coral High boys soccer team around 4 p.m. Saturday, seconds after securing the school's first ever state championship. Seahawks were in the air, actually, in Tampa. Good sign for Cape against Choctawachee and a minute after falling down 2-0 Seahawks respond Nathan Stone kicks it home Cape cuts it to 2-1 that's really swung the momentum it's Kyle Amaral gets behind the goalie here as he falls down and and who would be the hero in this one you guessed it it's Kyle Amaral scoring again to make it 3-2 Seahawks win the school's first state title in any sport ever by that count. We made history for our school. We made history, you know, for our city. 
uh, and uh, you know, and it was a team effort. As soon as we won it, like I felt the tears, and then all I feel like I'm walking on clouds right now. Like it's gonna hit me later. Well, it was a good day for Seahawks all around. The ones from community school shot at it. Well, you want a celebration? Here's a celebration. This was the Cape Coral High boys soccer team around 4 p.m. Saturday, seconds after securing the school's first ever state championship. Seahawks were in the air actually in Tampa. A good sign for Cape against Choctawachi. And a minute after falling down 2-0, Seahawks respond. Nathan Stone kicks it home. Cape cuts it to 2-1. That's really swung the momentum. It's Kyle Amaral gets behind the goalie here as he falls down. And, and who would be the hero in this one? You guessed it. It's Kyle Amaral scoring again to make it 3-2. Seahawks win the school's first state title in any sport ever by that count. Seahawks were in the air actually in Tampa. Good sign for Cape against Choctawachi and a minute after falling down 2-0 Seahawks respond Nathan Stone kicks it home Cape cuts it to 2-1 that's really swung the momentum it's Kyle Amaral gets behind the goalie here as he falls down and and who would be the hero in this one you guessed it it's Kyle Amaral scoring again to make